ready start all indians can be proud of what we have achieved in this area and our experience is also relevant beyond our boundaries free and fair elections are the foundation of a democracy over the past 6 decades governments in india at both the national and state level have regularly sought the mandate of the people through elections our elections are conducted under the supervision of a statutory independent election commission which has earned respect for its fairness and transparency both at home and abroad the independent judiciary has been a jealous defender of our constitution and a credible guarantor of the rule of law the press is a key institution in any democracy and our media has a well earned reputation for being free and fearless our minorities and we have many participate actively in all walks of national life political commercial and cultural civil society organizations are thriving and are vigilant in practicing human rights they are also watchful of threats to the environment our army has remained a professional force subject throughout to civilian control recently the constitution was amended to ensure constitutionally mandated elections to village and municipal councils this process has produced no less than 3 million elected representatives in the country with 1 million positions reserved for women this has brought democracy closer to the people and also empowered women and promoted gender balance our commitment to democratic values and practices means there are many concerns and perceptions that we share with the united states the most important common concern is the threat of terrorism democracy can only thrive in open and free societies but open societies like ours are today threatened more than ever before by the rise of terrorism the very openness of our societies makes us more vulnerable and yet we must deal effectively with the threat without losing the openness we so value and cherish india and the united states have both suffered grievously from terrorism and we must make common cause against it we know that those who resort to terror often clothe it in the garb of real or imaginary grievances we must categorically affirm that no grievance can justify resort to terror democracies provide legitimate means for expressing dissent they provide the right to engage in political activity and must continue to do so however for this very reason they cannot afford to be soft on terror terrorism exploits the freedom our open societies provide to destroy our freedoms the united states and india must work together in all possible forums to counter all forms of terrorism we cannot be selective in this area we must fight terrorism wherever it exists in the world stop